Okay, so we're doing this one outside only for uh, the sake of convenience. Um, I got a box here. Picked it up off eBay. This was about five bucks or so. The other side has my uh, shipping details on it, so I'm not going to open it. But the first thing that you can see is that half of it is packing tape. The other half is scotch tape, which seems to have held up very well to the shipping system. This was shipped via USPS, and today I'm going to open it with this stick of memory because I uh, have lack of a better uh, sharp uh, utensil out here. So you guys get to see what's in the box. Give me a second here. take out my uh, packing slip. Yeah, I paid <coughs> five dollars out of Georgia with shipping of two dollars and thirty two cents, so I paid seven thirty two. Um my records and let's get to the just to get some skinny of this all. Oh, what's that? It's a parallel cable? Yes. It is a parallel cable. It's a Zircom PPX003 parallel port multiplexer 3. And this requires no, uh, no real uh, stuff from what I understand. You just plug it in and it multiplexes. I think I, I need to get some software for that. But you think the box is empty, right? No. No. Oh, oh, oh. Did, did you see it? Those of you that know what this video is about already know that I'm going nuts. Parallel port on that side. Ethernet on that side. Ooh, that's right. It's a Zircom Pocket Ethernet 3 uh, 10 BT. So this is a uh, 10 base T uh, unit, twisted pair RJ45, and you actually do need to give it 12 volts of power in order to power the onboard stuff. I think that's what it is. Assembled in Mexico. If you can see that, but it says 47th week of 93 there, right there. It's not really, it says assembled in Mexico 4793 on the very bottom right corner. Sorry if you can't see that. So, this is uh, about three weeks older than my brother is. <laughs> He was born in uh, December of 93. That was probably made sometime in November, late October, early November. So, I put that in my pocket. So now I've got an empty box. But, box over here, recycling bin for now. That's obviously what I gotta do with the box on top of the garbage can. So, here's the Zircon. Here's the multiplexer. What you're supposed to do is that's side A. So this side would face on, just like that. And to close this up, you would twist this here, and that would move the gears to move the screws. I'm not going to do this outside because I'm probably going to strip the gears. But this is supposed to be the entire whole unit here. Plus, have the multiplexer so you can plug your printer in still, and also at the same time still use your um, <coughs> your uh, Zircon Pocket Ethernet to get on the internet or get on the network. Uh, this was supposed to be a very well at the time cheap alternative to using a an ISA or a uh, well an ISA network adapter to get onto your uh, uh, 
local intranet or other uh, local LAN, or it was supposed to be a lot more reliable than, or a lot more, I, I guess for the time, what, what it was supposed to do it was supposed to be a cheap way to get your computer onto a network network or something along those lines. Uh, you know, at netware or hook up a, a machine to something like that. There is still, to this day, no Linux or Unix drivers that I know of for this particular unit or any of their other parallel-based brethren. If I ever do come across one, or I know somebody that would like to make one, it will probably be substantial, and I'm very sure that the driver, once deemed stable, will make its way into the mainline Linux kernel uh, driver set, only for the sake of compatibility. Because I can see this being used for someone like me. Because it's only you're only going to get 75 kilobytes a second. Because that's pretty much where, right about where the the parallel uh, port will end up, just kind of giving out and maxing out at. But this entire system is going to be for a computer that I'm going to make a video on a little later. And I already showed in my last video the um, just just a little sneak peek at the end there. If you didn't catch that. Um, I have in my possession an NEC multi-speed HD laptop from about 1986, 1987, 1988, someplace around there. Um, right now it is half apart down in my basement, and I've been waiting on this uh, to get it onto the internet. So once I rehook that all back up, pop in the fl uh, the boot floppy. Uh, and give it a 12 volt wart to get it going, I think I'll be pretty much in the money. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna get this on the uh, on the network and uh, pop IRC Junior on the on the box and we'll be all set. So yeah, uh, before my fingers freeze, I'm going to uh, shut this video off now and uh, call this video uh, done and pop it up on YouTube where you are now viewing it right now. It's like, I know before I know. Yeah, it's like that. See you later, people. Oh, Zircon.